Yo, what's up, Buffalo? It's me again, Andrew Pleasant Sr., Pleasant Brothers Productions. It's in the house. Listen, Lisa Ray, I know you're a busy woman, but you have to play this part. Mary Ellen Pleasant. This part was made especially for you, Lisa Ray. Listen, that's my great, great, great grandmother. She is one of the most amazing women that ever lived on this earth. Get to know her. Read her story. Um, Ms. Sharon Lee Gaines got a play about her, which I'm trying to get to Buffalo, but I want that play to be turned into a real movie. I talked to Lavelle Crawford, mother, and um, Lavelle Crawford and Tim Murray about it. They pretty much heard about her. So I'm trying to get the best people involved in not only telling the true story, but make it known that, you know, she was the first civil rights leader, the first civil rights mother, you know, back in the 1800s. She was the first woman that was able to sue a trolley company and, you know, she was a black woman, okay? She passed off as a mulatto, but she was a black woman. She had black blood in her, but the white folks really took her side because of her complexion and her natural, beautiful hair. So, you know, I just want to, to, to let you know, Lisa Ray, that I believe in destiny. I believe that this was something that was specially uh, put together and was waiting for you to play this role. I know I'm not a millionaire. I know I don't have everything in life like some of the people that you be around, but I can promise you this. If you play this role, I guarantee you that you will get more Oscars by portraying this woman life's history is so much I guarantee I can guarantee you this that you will be able to get more Oscars than any Oscar winner ever because this is a true story okay it's many lies that have been told on her she lived a very complex life she was a brilliant woman if you play this role Lisa Ray as a as a real man I promise you that you will get more Grammys than any other actor ever got in the film because this movie will be made to perfection. This movie will be made to let the whole world know the truth about Miss Mary Ellen Pleasant. Now this is deeper than Roots. Now we know about Roots. but have we ever known about a woman that knew all the master, all the slave owners, all the white government, all the white senators secret? Miss Mary Ellen Pleasant knew how to maneuver her, her life, became a very wealthy rich woman back in the 1800s until she decided to take a stand for her own people so they can ride on the trolley in San Francisco. Please, play this part. This part is made for you. Like they say, you never know why you became an actor or you never know why you got into this business. See, this is your destiny. This is your calling. And Tyler Perry, I know you are busy, but you know, I know that you can direct this movie to the T, but I got to give all the credit to Miss Sharon Lee Gaines. I got to give it to her for doing the play. Brought a lot of things out into the open. I was told ever since I was a little boy about my great, great, great grandmother. I was told how wonderful she was, you know. So I want the world to know that this movie, once it's made, I guarantee you, Lisa Ray, 
that you will get more Oscars portraying this role than anyone ever gotten in a movie. Okay? Because it's time for that change, for the real truth to be told on how it was back in California and San Francisco in the 1800s. And I guarantee you that this will, this will be the biggest role you ever play in your life. Thank you. Enjoy the little skit that I'm doing. Um, I really just got my son performing, okay. But I guarantee you, Lisa Ray, you will be the one woman with the most Grammys if you do this role. Thank you. Have a good day. Andrew Pleasant, Pleasant Brothers Production. I'm just showing y'all a different, a little different vibe of uh, what I do here. You know, just like I say, you know, we got access to this room, and you know, uh, I want to start working on, you know, building the set. You know, um, and I'm trying to build my team. You know, I'm telling you, when y'all see my team, man, y'all gonna be like, okay, he really doing it. But I just want to talk about something right here. See this guy over here next to me? Yeah, that's, that's my twin brother. That's my twin brother. We always dress alike. You know? We always try to just, you know. He, see, every time, every time I say something, he do the same thing. Like, Watch this. Boom. See? You know? Thank you. This guy kind of crazy. But anyway, I just want to let y'all know um, this is the Power Media Center. Okay, my name is Andy Pleasant. Okay, I am a producer. Okay, I am starting my shows. And I, I just need to know if y'all like some of the footage that I can put together. You know, hit me up on, on, on my Gmail account. It's pleasantandrewgmail.com. That's P L E A S A N T S A N D R E W at gmails.com. Okay. Hit me up. Let me know if there's anything that. I can help you with as far as wanting to bring your talent and be on the show. I mean, if you got any show ideas or you think that you are a talented person, maybe you could be a writer, tell jokes, maybe you could just be a great host. You know, it's hard because don't too many people utilize the space the way it should be utilized. But I want to make a difference. I want to make a great show. Anyway, I just want to let y'all know that um, that there's so much going on in, in the world today, and, and um, you know we have to um, really take a good look at how we treat each other. This segment is about you know you know can we respect each other? Because it seems like we losing we we are losing the battle of respect, and um, it, it bothers me. Because it affects our children. It affects our children. It affects um, our, our, our daughters and sons, great great nephews. You know, we're not being a part accountable for being adults. I don't know where that went. I remember when I was a child, my aunt used to tell me to do something. If I didn't do it, she had the right and authority to to, to spank me, to whoop me. You know what I'm saying? And that's the way my aunts and uncles brought up, brought up, brought, brought us up, you know. There was no talking back. There was no, you know, I hate you, I can't stand you. So, you know, we have to really look at, you know, what are we put, what are we putting in our children's mind? What are we really doing to our children? You know, this is just going to be a little short segment. I wanted y'all just to see, you know, you know, where I'm at, you know, what's going on, you know. But... You know, we have to start somewhere, okay? And the schools trying their best. Parents, I know you love your children. I know you feel that they deserve the best. But I also know 
that you have to be accountable for some of their actions too. So when when you try to um, take a stand, let's take a different type of stand. If your son don't have nothing to do with where to go, they got a place called the library. The library got a program. Okay, they got people in the library that can help kids. So, you know, that's one of the best places where, you know, when I was in college where I, I think definitely hung out. Because I learned so much. It was just so much to learn. And I mean just being able to to learn, you know, so many books, you know, so many stories, so many things to, to help you. Because being in a house with just remote control or video game do not help your child and make your child eat. It takes away their vision because now they're programmed and now that they're stuck. So, you know, we're going to work on that because hopefully I will have some guests here Friday. I got a show that I'm shooting this Friday. So, y'all can let me know if y'all are available or y'all want to have a discussion on, you know, what y'all really think that the mayor should do, you know, and let's talk about some things and some changes that y'all might think that need, that need to change. But honestly, Buffalo looking great, man. You know, Buffalo is looking great, and I, I am so proud. I am so proud to honestly say that Mayor Brown, uh, regardless on what people might think under their rug or how they might feel. Just by going around the city and seeing the growth, seeing the development, seeing the jobs, seeing the buildings just coming up. This is the fastest that Buffalo ever had grown. I I mean it's just amazing. And it's look I mean it's just look starting to look so beautiful now. So I know if you doing them big jobs and handling your business, I know the urban community is gonna come together. I know you have a plan for city that you. I know that the city developers are going to work on the problems as far as these houses that need to be torn down because they got lead pipes, lead poison, they got so so many things, asbestos, you know. We have to get that out of our communities and get them people out of their houses. So on that note, I just want to say thank you. And my brother want to say thank you. You know, because um, you, you know, you, you, you made a difference. You made a difference. And you, you know, you breaking the race gap. You are bringing so many people together. That's why I say you are the unity here. Okay? 